time to strike a match and light up this juke joint. Hey, what's up y'all, it's poppin'. So we are here in Japan. This is our first official day here in Tokyo. I actually landed yesterday at 3.30 p.m., but I didn't get to my hotel until 7 p.m. So it took three and a half hours to go through the process of customs and then to get in the taxi and to drive all the way over here because the airport is very far from the main area in Tokyo. So I was like, all right, I'm done with today. <laughs> So didn't do anything last night. Um, so today is our first official day. So yeah, let's head on up out of here. We're about to uh, get on the train. Hopefully this isn't a, a complicated situation. Hopefully we can figure it out easily. So let's go. First stop ramen. I actually got in the Uber because I got to the train station and I was like, I don't feel like being bothered with this right now. <laughs> and I'm kind of pressed for time because I have to go to Team Labs uh, here in a bit. I have a scheduled time that I have to be there. So I feel like it was just quicker to just hop in an Uber. Um, so I'm going to head to Team Labs after, which is a popular exhibit, but about to eat some ramen first. So I just came in, they have a little iPad, made my order. So we're going to see what it's like. This is a big ass bowl of ramen. Alright, so I made it on the bus. I think public transportation is pretty straightforward from what I could tell so far. We'll see. Um, the ramen was decent. And that's like a very uh, top rated ramen spot actually here in Tokyo. So. I don't know if it's just me. I'm still trying to figure out if I actually like ramen or not. This is only my second time having it. I had it when I was in LA, and this time was obviously better <laughs> than when I had it in LA, but you know, I'm still trying to see how I feel about it. Maybe I need to try it a few more times, we'll see. Um, but yeah, we're on the bus, and we're going to head over to Team Labs. We're actually early. Uh, I was in and out of there quicker than I thought I would be. They were moving really fast in there, so the service was really good and they were very efficient. Um, but yeah, I actually downloaded one of these transit cards from my phone. Quick tip, if you're riding in public transportation um, in other countries, usually you can go to your wallet on iPhone and you can add the, their transit card. So that's all I did and then I put money on it. Um, so that's how I got on the bus. Yeah, we're gonna head to Team Lab and see what it's like there. So we gotta take off our shoes to walk into this exhibit. My toes are busted. <laughs> so there's that. Actually, other people's feet is busted too, so it's fine. What in the hell? Just like the one in Singapore, I'm pretty sure it's by the same Japanese artist. Pretty sure. This one is much longer than the one in Singapore though. Giving horror movie. This feels unsanitary for sure, but <laughs> I'm gonna just roll with it, I guess. Okay, we're outdoors now. This is the garden.
This is my favorite um, exhibit room so far. It's so pretty in here. I keep looking at my toes, though. My toes look like talons. <laughs> it's, it's embarrassing what, what my toes are looking like. But I didn't think I would have to expose them this whole trip. But, but I'm getting exposed. So tip, always get your toes done before you go out of town. <laughs> even, even if you feel like your feet won't be exposed at some point. Okay, that was a very cute experience. Highly recommend. I would say I enjoyed that one even more than the one in Singapore, although they are different. Um, I do believe I read somewhere that the same artist created both exhibits. I'm pretty sure I read that. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was a good time, so now we're about to head back over to the bus and head to our next destination. It is a little chilly out, but the sun is out, so it's a really nice balance. It's very comfortable today. It was actually raining really hard yesterday. That was another reason why I didn't even bother trying to do anything last night. But it's gonna be clear for like the next couple days. Then I think it might rain one more time while I'm here, but we're gonna hope for the best. But yeah, getting on public transportation here is definitely a must. Last night, I paid over 200 USD to get from the airport to my hotel room. And then today, getting from my hotel room to the ramen spot, which was only like 20 minutes away. And it's only because it was hella traffic, it was 20 minutes. 30 USD. So, nah. <laughs> That, that's not gonna cut it. So we need to hop on this public transportation. And I actually like riding public transportation because it makes me feel like I'm more in tune with the city. You know, it makes me feel like I can go anywhere anytime without restrictions. You know, you feel more free. So I prefer riding public transportation. It's not a big deal. Once you get the hang of it and you understand the different lines, the, the, the routes and all of that, then you're good to go not difficult at all the goddamn cherry blossoms ain't out yet <laughs> i'm gonna catch them somewhere on this trip we're gonna catch them but these are supposed to be all cherry blossoms but they have not bloomed yet like one of my favorite shoe stores ever. I usually buy their shoes online because we don't have uh, one of these stores in LA, but I am in heaven. I'm about to blow a bag. I took off my coat to get comfortable because we bought this shop. I'm buying four pair of shoes. <laughs> When I said I'm about to blow it back, we about to we about to blow it back. And I'm annoyed because I didn't bring my passport. And in order to get the duty-free, tax-free uh, discount or whatever, you have to bring your passport. So yeah, I really don't feel like going back to my hotel room and coming back here and then I'm going on the food tour later. It's just not, it's not giving that. So I'm gonna have to miss out on the discount. Sucks, but I'm glad I was able to try these on in person. Cause usually when I buy their shoes online, I'm kind of just shooting in the dark. I mean, I have the same size for all of their shoes, but some of their shoes fit me a little big. Um, so that's a problem sometimes, but I was able to try these all on in store. So that was the plus for me. So it's fine if I'm not getting the the discounts, whatever. But I love their shoes so much. I, I really like them, so I'm excited. Okay, we got the bag. Okay, so I'm back at the hotel briefly so I could drop off my shoes. I'm super excited about my purchases and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go back before I leave because there were a couple more pair that I, I, I think I might need to get. So I, I could have just waited <laughs> and just brought my passport to get the full discount, but whatever, I'll get the discount on the other shoes that I get. And then there are a couple other stores that I wanna go to, child. I might need to buy another suitcase actually. I did not prepare for this. 
I'm also super relieved and happy that the public transportation here is super straightforward and easy. I was a little concerned because I had heard some people say that it was complicated and they got lost. This is very easy for me, especially coming from Seoul, okay? In South Korea, I feel like their transportation was a little bit more difficult. But this is starting to feel like Hong Kong, okay? This is as, as straightforward as Hong Kong was, so I'm loving it. Very easy to just hop on these buses and trains. And I just scan my phone. Oh, how convenient. I'm about to chill for a bit and then I actually have to head out. I'm going on uh, this food tour. I'm not even hungry. It's around 4 p.m. now. I had that ramen around 11 but it's ramen, it's filling, so I'm not hungry at all, but whatever, I booked it. I have to hop on a train to go meet them, um, so it'll probably take me like 30 minutes, so I actually need to head out of here soon. Okay, actually, I'm gonna just walk there. Uh, it's like a 20 minute walk away from my hotel, so might as well work up some type of appetite, cause I am not hungry at all, like not even a little bit. So instead of just, taking public transport. We gonna get some steps in, you feel me? And I hope y'all can hear me well. I cannot find my little dead cat attachment <laughs> to go to my mic. And that like catches a lot of the wind. Um, but I don't know where the hell it is. It's so hard keeping up with all these little damn gadgets. But yeah, hopefully y'all can hear me well cause it's a little windy but hopefully it's doing a good job picking up my voice. But yeah, I'm really excited to be here so far and it feels really good to just be on my own timing, you know? Move when I wanna move, do what I wanna do when I wanna do it. That is the benefit of solo traveling. So it's very freeing, I feel good. for now but uh, around like 2 a.m. I really don't want you guys to come back here <laughs> this is really not a good scene in Tokyo so, why why specifically well, because you know um, these like bars they're like run by a Japanese mafia so wow. this is like their territory players make like 1 million yen per night Oh. So that's like a lot of money going on. Sometimes like you see like numbers with their case and that's their annual income. So they compete each other with their like, annual income. It's very intense. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look at their amounts. They talking about a player. Like this is a video game, bruh. Wait, you said they're on the buses usually, the guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. They oh. look like a musician, but oh. like they are legit like male escorts like that. Oh. So this is not a nightclub. This is like a male escort bar. Oh, wow. Very interesting. Very, huh? <laughs> All she did was make me want to come back here at night <laughs> because I just want to see it for myself in person. You feel me? Obviously, I ain't hiring one of those niggas, but <laughs> I, I low-key want to come back and see what it's like. I guess these are the thotties. These are the thotties selling their body. That's also crazy. They look like they in a boy band, like a K-pop group. And the whole time they slanging pink. <laughs> Super cool over here. This is definitely a different vibe than the other places that I've been on this Asian tour. <laughs> Um, when I first got here, I was like, this looks a little bit like Hong Kong, but the more we navigate, it's like, nah, this is very, very different in a good way. I mean, Hong Kong was dope too. I really liked Hong Kong, but um, yeah, this is just a different vibe. You can tell this is big, bigger city vibe. The tour is done. It was such a nice tour. I mean, the food itself, to be honest, wasn't that great. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't bad either, but it was nothing to write home about. It, it was whatever. Um, but walking around the area was the highlight of the tour for me. It was so cool seeing all the different buildings, hearing about the 
the BTS niggas <laughs> who are escorts. <laughs> that was very interesting. Um, and yeah, just hearing about how Tokyo nightlife is. She was talking about the Japanese mafia. All of that was super interesting. So it's been a good night. I'm out of breath because I've been walking for a minute. <laughs> I was power walking because um, my hotel is a 20 minute walk. So I've been walking fast, but yes, it's been such a great night. Such a great first full day here in Tokyo, having a great time. And yeah, I was a little nervous when I landed yesterday because I'm like, shit, it's cold. But it's actually not bad at all. Like it's a very comfortable cold, <laughs> if that makes sense. I feel like it's even more comfortable here than it was in South Korea. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, day one was a success. Good morning team. Um, so I'm walking and I just passed a homeless person on the street. This is the first homeless person I've seen in all of Asia since I've been here. But yeah, I'm heading to meet my tour guide right now. Um, it is a full day Tokyo tour. So we're supposed to hit up a lot of the touristy highlights in Tokyo. So looking forward to it, should be fun. I also found my mic attachment to block out the wind, which is perfect. Uh, but yeah, about to go meet up with them. Okay, so we are here at the shrine. I'm just walking around because Honestly, you've seen one shrine, one temple. You've seen them all. <laughs> and I've seen a lot this trip, so I'm like, all right. Um, so just walking around this forest area. Being here, I can't help but think about Logan Paul. When he, when he came to Japan and he went to the suicide forest. Trifling. What a bum. <laughs> but I can't help but think of that while I'm walking around here. Um, but yeah, just kill some time until we meet back up at our bus. I like tours because they basically give you free transportation and it's a very efficient way to get to the popular touristy spots, but I don't like them because I feel like so much time is wasted. Like, you know, a lot of time is wasted unnecessarily at each destination. Um, and it is pretty limited because we are in such a big group. So you do have a lot more freedom when you are by yourself, but you know, there are pros and cons. That's why I try to mix up my trips with tours and, you know, things that I do on my own, you know, so I think it's good to have a balance. another temple child <laughs> this is what we got dropped off at um but there is a lot of other stuff over here as well it's a lot of stores and whatnot so just gonna walk around for a bit until it's time to meet back up and i just had some matcha ice cream listen i'm done with matcha for the rest of my days okay i only ate it because it was complimentary so i was like let, let me try it let me try it in ice cream form. Maybe it's better. Matcha ice cream, how bad can it be? Bad. It's just soft serve dirt. Why do people like it? I don't get it. And it's very popular here, but fuck out of here. I'm not eating nothing else matcha. My ex really liked matcha. I should have known. Something was off with him when he told me that. Red fucking flag. <laughs> if you like fucking matcha, bro. Cause what is up with your taste buds? Oh, look at Sanrio, how cute.
another sky experience. Fuck it, let's do it. Young girl, no one that back calling me splurge. Let me jump right out the curb. Make this right fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. We are here at Tokyo Tower. It's the tallest broadcast tower here in Japan, something like that. <laughs> but of course, I went to the tall tower in South Korea as well. So they all kind of starting to look the same. <laughs> um, but still nice to take in the views. Um, so yeah, just chilling, waiting for us to meet up. Okay, we got like another hour before we meet up. And then we're going to go on like a boat cruise or something like that for a bit. And then I believe the tour is over after that. Uh, but yeah, I just feel like a lot of these stops, we could spend a lot less time at these destinations. But I mean, it is what it is. It comes with the territory when you book these tours. But yeah, as I go on more and more trips, I'm like leaning more towards just doing my own thing, especially because I'm getting a lot more comfortable on like public transportation. It doesn't really make sense for me to even need to book a tour. I mean, other than the transportation, even though I could get on the train myself, it's still super convenient to have a designated bus or van to take you to specific places, you know? Um, so, yeah, you know, you just gotta weigh the pros and cons. But I'm starting to prefer like shorter tours. This is like a 10 hour tour. So <laughs> these longer ones, I'm just like, I don't know if they're necessary, but the shorter ones, I don't mind. That are like a few hours, I feel like those are cool. But anywho, I'm gonna chill out here for a bit and then we're going to get on the water. It is clear for the most part, um, but I do see some clouds. So I don't know how it's gonna look on the water, but hopefully it looks nice. Take me my equal, I don't know what you heard. Crack up the phone, I swear. Give me a stick if they purge. Hey, what's up, y'all? Good morning. I was just fighting for my life to get on this bus just now. It's super duper windy and it's raining a bit right now. And it's just brutal. Very brutal. I'm doing all this in the rain to go get a damn pancake. <laughs> I just left that Happy Pancake place that is like super popular, overrated, overrated. It was okay, but I was a bit surprised because it was very egg forward. And John told me that he ate there and it was fire and he liked it, but he don't like eggs. So I'm like, what? Make it make sense. He's so fake. <laughs> How you don't like eggs? And you like this pancake that tastes like it got about 30 eggs in it. I don't get it. Very egg forward pancake. So not the best. I would say IHOP pancakes taste better than that. The texture was really nice though. Very light and fluffy. But other than that, child, people just be hype and stuff. That's all I hate <laughs> going based on recommendations that come from like hype because I also saw on social media people were talking about it a lot and I'm like this, this was it anyway I also went to Rick Owens um, I'm just walking around shopping now went to Rick Owens and now I'm about to head back to United Nude <laughs> that other shoe store I was at earlier <laughs> Okay, so it is several hours later. I've been walking around doing some shopping, okay? I definitely need a new suitcase <laughs> because I'm not going to be able to fit all of these things in the two suitcases that I have. So I'm going to just buy a bigger suitcase to replace my smaller suitcase that I brought. <sighs> Child. <laughs> and it's only 3 p.m., but I have 9,800 steps. Can y'all see that? Um, so your girl has been walking, okay? I've been doing a lot of um, 
just browsing around looking at different stores and whatnot um so i've worked up an appetite now we're about to eat a wagyu burger i'm excited you know this is the land of the wagyu so we're gonna see what this hitting for um because yeah those pancakes i had i didn't have no protein or nothing to go with it um as y'all saw i just had the little fluffy pancakes and i didn't even finish all of them because again overrated i was like <laughs> I waited this long for this because yeah, I waited like an hour for those damn pancakes because they're they're so popular. But yes, I'm gonna eat this burger and I think I'm gonna just head back to my hotel. I might be going out tonight. We will see how how that plays out. Um, I definitely need to get some work done as well. This is actually my last day here in Tokyo, um, but I am migrating <laughs> to a different area in Japan after this so looking forward to that especially because i'm not filling my room i'll run about that later on but i'm not feeling that at all child so i, I think i'm ready to uh end my tokyo journey and go on to the next city bro that was one of the best burgers i've had in my entire life they are big tripping i paid 14 dollars for that and it came with fries and a drink. Y'all could be getting so much more money for these burgers. It was even steakhouse quality, period. That's actually the best thing I've ate since I've been here. Granted, I haven't been like super trying to explore the cuisine here, but out of all the things I ate, that was top of the list for sure. Um, and yeah, I lied. I'm not going back to the hotel room. We are going to the Shibuya. Shibuya roll call area um because I need to get a suitcase so let's go and I haven't even seen the Shibuya crossing yet bro I found Timu <laughs> This is freaking Timu. They got like 30 floors and they got a whole bunch of random little gadgets for the Lola. So hopefully they have luggage for cheap. Don't play with me. I know Timu when I see it. I better find a bag for $10. $80. This is not giving Timu. back at the hotel room it is around 6 p.m now i was lugging around that big ass suitcase around tokyo's busiest area okay it was a zoo then i had to get on the bus it was just a lot but we are back and then i stopped at 7-eleven i love their 7-elevens here <laughs> i know everybody talks about their 7-elevens but they are top tier they have slabs of just salmon in there cooked you could just go in there and buy a piece of cooked salmon if you just want some extra protein like it's it's just lit and i got this little pasta salad <laughs> um it has pasta lettuce and like some lentils and stuff so got got a little snack and then a drink but yeah child i've been walking i'm already at Fifteen thousand steps. I'm ready to sit my ass down. So yeah, I'm gonna just chill for a bit, get some work done. If I end up doing something, of course, I'll, I'll let y'all in on it. If not, then I'll, I'll just see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Cause I'm tired. Hi, what's up, y'all? So it is the next morning. So I didn't even end up going out last night. I was just exhausted, just mentally, physically. I was like, it's just not giving that. And I feel a little bad because I flaked on the guy that I was gonna go out with. So when I was on the Tokyo tour, I met this other black guy from DC. Um, he was super cool and we were talking about going out <laughs> that did not happen i hit him up like listen i'm tired and at this point i've been traveling for almost four weeks now um and on top of that i'm still working so i'm recording reactions i'm editing those i'm recording a lot for these vlogs i'm editing this as much as i can um so that definitely adds to me being more tired as well um it's just it's a lot so I was just like no I'm, I'm not gonna be able to go so that is the second missed opportunity <laughs> for um, going to the club since I've been here in Asia but you know it, it is what it is whatever
I'm like, if I'm tired, I'm tired. Um, but yeah, we're actually about to check out of this room. We're leaving Tokyo. We're actually headed to Kyoto. Um, my time here has been everything that I thought it would be. I really, really like Tokyo. Definitely want to come back. But yeah, this is this has been a good time here in Tokyo. I don't like the room though. Let's get into that real quick. I didn't even show y'all this room. I guess I'll give y'all a quick little shot while I'm on my way out. But first off, this this room is a box. My next room in Kyoto is a box too. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, the, the rooms here are just, they're really, really small. If you want a big room, you're going to have to really drop a big bag. And especially staying in, you know, the popular touristy areas, the rooms are just tiny. And on top of that, like the flooring is just old or something. Like I could hear the people above me and, and around me. So I hated that. And this is like a five star, uh, nice hotel. So that was really disappointing. I'm staying at the Kempton, but don't recommend at all. I paid like $3,300 for four nights to stay here and I'm staying in a fucking box with bad uh walls <laughs> with with you know uh paper thin walls like so that's been annoying but whatever I'm about to hear <laughs> Still your heart again on Saturday and Sunday night.